a certificate of completion is not a certification. Every company I've worked with, including Microsoft and Uber, ignore completion certificates. Now, they won't tell you that in public, but I promise they do. A certificate is something you receive when you complete a course. For example, you finish a Udemy course or a Coursera course, you get a certificate of completion. These are absolutely worthless to employers. It doesn't matter who it's from. I would highly recommend you don't put completion certificates on your resumes. A certification is a completely different thing. A certification is where you go study for an exam, you go to a proctored location, and you take a test. If you pass, you're certified. If you fail, you go back and take it again. Let's take a look at a well-known certification in Microsoft called the MCSC. Here's the page that lists the exams you need to take to become an MCSC. If you navigate down the page, you'll see what you need to take. It's more than one exam. These are often referred to as premium certifications. It's a well-known cert and it's been around a long time. How long? Well, my first certification was the MCSE. That should tell you how long. Now, this isn't specific to Microsoft. AWS has their own certification path and there are many others. My friend and founder of A Cloud Guru, Ryan Cronenberg, became a billionaire. Yes, I said billion. After he sold his company, that's solely focused on AWS certifications. As an aside, I had the very first course on that platform. Now you know that certificates of completion and certifications are completely different things, and that companies only look at certifications. But what certifications do you get? I don't know. What you want to do will dictate that. Before we dig into certifications, two things I should mention. I'm not a programmer, so I don't know about certifications on that side of the house. Secondly, as a general rule, I'd only focus on certifications from the big three cloud providers. They are Microsoft, AWS, and GCP. GCP is Google's cloud platform. Regardless of where you go, certifications from these companies are widely recognized in the real world. All right, let's cover the data engineering certifications I would get if I were just starting out. Number one would be the Google Certified Data Engineer. Why? It's only one test, and as far as certifications go, it's pretty easy. If you work on Microsoft products and you're going to be an Azure Data Engineer, then the Azure Data Engineer Associate is a great one. It's more entry level, and it'll get you entry level interviews if you have some experience. Lastly, Amazon has the Big Data Certification. AWS is the number one cloud provider right now, and Azure is a close second. The problem I have with this certification is it's not a true data engineering certification. It's solely focused on big data. Why is that a bad thing? You don't get a job as a data engineer anywhere without an entry-level background in SQL. There are very few zero entry-level data engineers. Every single one I know, and I know quite a few, came from a data background. They were DBAs or data analysts, and programmers too. Now you might be thinking, are there other certifications outside the big three that companies look for? Sure. If I wanted to be a Snowflake data warehouse admin or architect, then I would absolutely get a premium certification from Snowflake. Here's an easy way to find out if your certification you're thinking about is going to be used in the real world. You find out what the certification is, you navigate to a job board, and search for that certification. Are companies listing that cert as one they're looking for? All right, that's about it for the data certifications. I'll do another video soon on the machine learning engineer certifications I choose. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon.